What's up, fishing freaks? Welcome to the LFG channel. Hey, if you're new to this channel, we're all about outdoor life, fishing, of course, and just overall freedom, free market capitalism, and awesomeness. This is my wife, Stephanie. Hey. Right here, otherwise known as Ocean Spoon Girl. So we got a special treat today <laughs> here with the little marshmallow. I thought I'd take this opportunity while we're all together here and we could answer some questions. Presented a post on Instagram. Uh, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can go do that at Lake Fork Guy. I read through a couple of them when I first posted, but I didn't go fully in depth. But basically what I posted about was, ask us anything. Don't be too dirty. Some of you guys are just savages out there. <laughs> Hopefully this can kind of clear up maybe some fishermen that are out there that are looking to get involved in a relationship is it worth it? Is it worth getting involved in a relationship? I don't, we're going to answer those questions today. So well, I don't even know what all is in here. I know you were laughing at some of them last I was, night. Last so night and this morning. She's going to read these. All right. Like I said, I have not really read through these. So she's going to read these and then we will answer them together. <clears throat> all right. What's a good juicy one, babe? What do we got here? What is the one thing you love about Ocean Spoon Girl? The one thing just, I love? Just one. If I could only do one, I would say your positive attitude. Oh, thanks. I would say 98% <laughs> of the time you're, you're super positive. So that is essential for me. I like to come home and just have a good positive attitude at the house. Well, you're and welcome. that lifts my spirits, helps me be more positive myself. Staying positive, get, get you a good positive girl in your life. Makes life easier. Yep. What else? Question number three. I'm ready. Let's get into some juicy ones here. Okay. Lake Fork Guy, does Ocean Spoon Girl have a sister? And if so, what's her number? For scientific reasons. Ooh, I see. I see what you're trying to get at. Yeah, yeah she actually does have a, have a sister. I do have a sister, but she is nothing like me. She's a great person. Love her. Yep. Love her to death. But she's completely opposite from me. Um, very into art. Very... Um, Loves architecture, loves... Very hippie. Yeah. Yeah. But she's already taken. She has a serious boyfriend. And we have a little nephew. So no girl. Sorry. Sorry about it. <laughs> there actually is a lot of good fishing questions in here. I'll, yeah. keep the, I'll keep these in mind. Does my wife smell better than bass? Did somebody ask that question? <laughs> actually, no. Bass is probably the sweetest smell ever. I want to shun you for that answer. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like honey grass, guys. What? Bass smells like honey grass. It does. You smell like cinnamon and and uh, yeah, keep going. And lavender, <laughs> and I love it. I love both smells <laughs> equally. Wait, there was equally. one. Equally <laughs> saved it. Saved it right there at the end. Why did you let Winston get so fat? Um, Winston's actually not fat. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I wake him up for a second here? He's like a. He's, oh. he's like a bodybuilder, guys. Have you ever seen like a bodybuilder that's has a massive chest and lats and traps and everything and arms. Well, he is just a massive dude up front. Gosh, this guy is like solid. He's just solid muscle. When you pick him up, he's like 30 pounds. He's actually super fast. He is. It's kind of strange to see him go. He's it's like super fast. You guys won't, you wouldn't even believe how fast <laughs> he can, he could run. And he's very, he's very aggressive. He likes to fight. Jumping, not so much. He's not a jumper. Tiny, tiny little legs on this dude. And uh, yeah, he can't really even jump up on the couch. He has a lot of failures. He's just a bulldog. And he's a French bulldog, but he's like a massive He's like an version. outgrown. We love him though. <laughs> and you guys love him. Because he's such an adorable little pup. All right, I like this question. LFG, what is your all-time favorite meal that Ocean Spoon Girl cooks? Very good question. So for those of you that don't know, Stephanie, uh, she's really good at cook. Um, she, she runs a nutrition blog called The Healthy Chew. She's all about healthy eating. But some of the best things that she makes, I would have to say, are just like good old Southern southern meals she makes these rosemary biscuits mm, that are off the chain they're delicious like they're probably the, that's probably my favorite thing that you make i don't cook healthy 100 percent of the time so that's right you know you gotta I, have a balance i do like i do like coming home and eating the meals she makes most of the time because it's 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 usually healthier food because when i'm out on the road you know how it is guys you get you go fishing and your McDonald's in the morning, stuff like that, you know, you just end up eating and 
eat like crap. So I like to come home and eat something good. But here lately, since you haven't been home, I just come home and like get a burrito and it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I need you back here. Let's talk about the Matt Ryan thing. Let's ask her, do you think I look like Matt Ryan? I feel like that's not a very fair question because I know you and every square inch of you. So. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Yes, so... but do I look like in the face anything like Matt Ryan? I will say when Matt Ryan does not have on his football jersey and uniform and helmet, I can see a slight resemblance. But when he has all that on, no. So why do you think I look like Matt Ryan? Is Matt Ryan good looking? Because I'm probably way better looking than he is. <laughs> it should be the other way around. It's like, why is... LFG playing Super Bowl. Exactly. You know, that's the way I, you know, like, who's Matt Ryan? Super Bowl guy? Whatever. You know. Fishing's way better. Thanks. Yeah. A lot, a lot of you are asking about Winston, too. We'll do a full... I'm going to do a full video on Winston's story. He's kind of a cool dog. How long have y'all been together total? So it's kind of like a couple questions in one. As well as, does the travel and being away from each other cause issues in the relationship as an angler? Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one right here. So how long have we been together? Yes. What? Three, four. Three and a half, four years, something like that. We met in 2013. We pretty much decided to get married like shortly after. Well, not, not after meeting, but like we mm -hmm. dated for a little bit. We're like, okay, we're good. We're still kind of fresh, fresh off the bus. <laughs> Our entire relationship has pretty much been travel. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much ever since we met, we weren't even living in the same city when we met. So we were dating from you know three hours away long distance of course you guys know the story um you know if you haven't seen that video me talking about basically how i got to this point now just doing youtube and producing and stuff one of the reasons i wanted to be at home more was because of you you know to to actually like have a relationship because i was gone all the time so i switched to a job where i didn't travel as much but i still traveled a lot now I still travel. I would say it's not as much, but I still do it and she's traveling now too. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a lot of you out there that are, are doing the whole traveling fishing thing. If you're doing tournaments and stuff like that and uh, you know, trying to be in a relationship uh, while doing that, it can be tough. Like you just, you gotta have a rock solid relationship. And that's, that's definitely what we have. Like I know I can just be gone for a week and everything's cool at home like there's there's a lot of relationships where you leave for a couple days and you know things just go haywire i make a living going out and, and shooting uh fishing videos and then producing videos for for other people so she knows that i'm not just out like goofing around <laughs> with with other dudes you know i mean that happens sometimes but it's not like the sole purpose of me going out i gotta pay the bills around here i gotta pay for this dude's expensive dog food, you know, I got it. She's a high class lady. I got to pay for her <laughs> stuff. So she knows that when I'm gone, it's for a good reason. I'm not going to lie, guys. Though. When I'm gone for, you know, three or four days a week, I definitely miss Stephanie. I'm, I'm ready to get home, ready to get home to these two. <laughs> I'm a family guy, 100%. Like, just love being home. Yes, guys, it can be a factor. But if you have a good relationship with that person, it, it, It'll be it, okay. it works out. You just got to have the right one. This one right here, <laughs> solid. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know what Ocean Spoon Girl means. I'll tell you the origin of that real quick. So that's actually a uh, that's actually an Outlaw original. I was fishing in Florida with with Outlaw, and as soon as I rolled up, like he got off the airplane, he was like, "Ocean Spoon Girl, what's going on?" And it took me a second. I was like, "What is he talking about, Ocean Spoon Girl?" And I was like, "Oh, that's the total opposite of Lake Fort guy." And I was like, that's kind of weird that you called me that, but whatever, you're strange anyways, but that would actually be a good name for my wife. And he was like, oh my gosh, that is. So he started referring to Stephanie uh, as Ocean Spoon Girl. And it's kind of weird. We're, his girlfriend's name is Stephanie too. So yeah. we both <laughs> we both have Stephanie's in our lives, but so uh, to, to differentiate, we got Ocean Spoon Girl. And I'm a total beach girl and she is a total beach Love girl that's why it beach. makes so much sense and spoon okay so the healthy chew is her blog and she's all about health and nutrition so you got spoon in there and then uh she is a hundred percent girl so that, 
that does make sense as well. Let's hope so. Hundred <laughs> percent certified. So yes, has have I ever fished before? I was with you, and how often do I ever come out fishing with you? So I, I've seen documentation that you have fished. I did, but honestly, okay, I will tell the story because you go for it, girl. <laughs> you go. Okay, so I have fished before I met Justin, and honestly, I didn't even know what a bass was before I met Justin. <laughs> I had caught a bass, but I didn't know that that's what I caught. Wow. <laughs> and I just threw down the bass knowledge. Yeah, on yeah. So um, it was kind of one of those, everything was so new when I met Justin, so it was really exciting. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go fishing with him. And when she met me, like when I picked her up in our first date, my truck was literally wrapped as a bass fish. Yeah, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit. You know, I thought that was like a company car or something. <laughs> and when he rolls up to our first date in a in a fish truck, I was like, okay. Yeah. What did I get myself into? But I do go out with him only and only. I'll if... answer this one. She'll come out on the boat if it's like really nice conditions, like 75 degrees, no wind. Uh, pretty much whenever the fishing's terrible, like high pressure days, she likes to come out, read a book. Yeah. She loves to tan, 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 tan. And when I start catching fish, she'll be like, Oh, I'll pick up a rod. And <laughs> Do you not know? sound like But that. she's, she's not going to be, I will never have to worry about this girl getting on the front of the trolling motor and, uh, you know, taking a fish away from me. She, she's just back there having a good time. She'll catch a few fish and then go back to reading a book happy as a clam yeah. has ocean spoon girl ever asked you to bring back a fish for a meal or your fish store-bought a lot of them are store-bought but definitely she asked for fresh fish she is a uh, and i am too guys i am a big believer in kill and eat and catch and eat so a lot of times when i go down in the ocean i will try to bring back some fish and she will definitely ask like oh are you going down to the can you bring back some fish it doesn't always work out that way. You know, I got to get on like airplanes and stuff like that. But if there's an opportunity for me to bring back fish, I will. Yeah, crappie, um, so panfish, white bass, stuff like that. I'll bring home every once in a while. But I'll tell you, I don't think I've ever cooked a catfish though. I'll bring one back if I catch one though, like a big old flathead or something. They're, they're good. We're definitely not afraid to bring, bring home some fish and cook it because... It's good for you, right? Fish is good for you. Absolutely. There you go. High protein, low fat, uh, omega threes. See, <laughs> she's rubbing off, guys. You know, she's rubbing off. I'm so proud. Do you just eat healthy food to make me happy? Mm. And do you still eat garbage from time to time, even though she's a dietitian? Oh uh, yeah, I still do eat garbage from time to time. <laughs> it's not necessarily because I want to. It's just because convenience. The, yeah, the areas I'm in for convenience. Uh, I fish a lot of like remote areas and if I don't have food packed with me, then, you know, I'm going to eat some, some junk cause that's what's out there. I do enjoy eating healthy though, even before I met her. Yes. And I'll tell you how this, how this happened guys is when I was tournament fishing, like hardcore, like traveling, I would go fish these tournaments and you know, I'd, I'd have to practice for three or four days and then the tournament's three days long. Like, if you ever fished hardcore for like 12 hours a day, seven days in a row, it will wear you out. When I was eating junk, I realized I like my energy level was so low. And then I started bringing my own meals, studying uh, nutrition, and I would basically carry a George Foreman grill with me and cook uh, chicken breasts and like spinach. I ate the crap out of spinach, drinking a ton of water. And I started having so much more energy and I was like, Oh my gosh, there's definitely something to this. And then when I was a uh, camera guy filming deer hunts, like I would just eat a straight diet of, of venison and spinach. Yeah. When and I met you, your freezer was just stocked. Yeah. It's like, that's like all we ate for the first year. So, yeah. um, so yeah, I was definitely into nutrition before I still eat like, like junk. Sometimes when I'm out for convenience, but it's not it's not because I want to. So there's definitely <laughs> let's, something. Let's be clear, healthy. it's not that I don't let him. <laughs> it's not like I'd be like, oh my gosh, you can't eat that. That's terrible for you. Yeah, but you definitely get turned off by that. Like if I came <laughs> home with a McDonald's sack or something, I'm definitely not getting any of that night. No, like for it's sure. Straight turn off. Well, yeah. I don't want to kiss that. It's kissing like a GMO cheeseburger. <laughs> Name your favorite thing about each other because I already. I already okay. said your favorite thing, my favorite thing is your positivity. So okay. what's your favorite thing about me? 
Um, I would say hands down my favorite thing about you is that you're very dedicated. <laughs> you're staring them into my eyes. Dedication and passionate. Like whatever that you want in life, you set your mind to and you're going to do it. I don't think you've ever said that to me. Really? So that, yeah. So I, I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Women like that. Absolutely. They like to see men that are passionate about things and then achieve their goals no matter what it is. That turns them on, I think. It does. I think I know what it is. It's a sense of comfort. It's a sense of assurance. So. It's like, this man... He's, he's not going to give up on something. Exactly. There you go. He's See? not going to just quit at life. Yeah. So whatever you do, be passionate about it. And uh, you can get some hot girls like this. Does Steph know how to drive a boat? Uh, she's driven a boat. I'm not sure I'd cut her loose... You know, <laughs> without me in the boat. Well, that's she only has because boat. that's only because you haven't really like told me how to drive a boat. You're like, okay, we'll we'll give you a lesson here or there, but it's never like, all right, Steph, take the wheel. Yeah, we're we're not we're not we're not totally there yet. But... <laughs> I think it was like our first date. It could have been. I don't know. Actually, I think I, was I, in I, love. Have, <laughs> I have pictures. The very first time I was ever on his boat, he let me drive it. Yeah, yeah. Love make you do crazy things, guys. <laughs> I think a lot of guys are going to be interested in this one. Like, how do you feel about my fishing addiction? I'm an official fishing freak. Yes, you are. I'm obsessed with it to the point where I love to smell their faces. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, if I didn't make a dime from fishing. Then it might be a little <laughs> weird. It might be a little weird. Yeah. What if I was just loaded? Like, I was basically a millionaire and I just loved to fish all the time. Then what would you think? It's like any hobby that you have. I feel like that's, it's yours. So there's another question I want to get to. There's a question that what? says, do you smell Winston as much as you smell other bass? Or have you ever tried to smell Winston? She likes to smell Winston. <laughs> I don't, there's something about him. Okay. Okay. Now who's weird? See? <laughs> okay. Well, you know how, you know how <laughs> mothers like smell their babies and like they love that smell. And they're like, mm. That's how she is with Winston. Like he's got some scent to to him that she really likes. Uh, yeah, some um, women pheromone it's, thing. I it's don't know. weird. I am like addicted to smelling Winston. Yeah, so you put him in a candle and just light <laughs> no, him up. No, I don't know if I go that far. Winston candles, baby. We're gonna sell them. LFG logo on it. This is gonna be a long video right here. Uh, how do we have any more like really juicy questions? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've kind of already told the story of how we met in one of the videos. Okay, here's a good one. Okay. Ocean Spin Girl, has LFG ever lost his cool? LFG is always super positive with those vibes. <laughs> yeah, I try I try to be, guys. Like, I am, I'm a super positive person, and I, I usually don't let anything get me down. It, it either have to be, like, something to do with you or... Um, Your truck? <laughs> my truck... <laughs> Yes, I think okay. every every guy can appreciate. If you want to tell the story, yes, I will tell you the story. can. Okay, okay, so we were <clears throat> out to dinner for my birthday. It was a very nice evening. So we were downtown driving on one of the streets, and this guy out of nowhere, I hear Justin like rolling down his windows, and he's like sputtering curse words, and he's like yelling at this dude, this man. Pause. Pause for a second. Okay. I think a lot of fishing freaks out there can appreciate this. If you're rolling down the street in your truck, and all of a sudden you look up in your side view mirror, and there's someone <laughs> hanging on your truck, you're going to freak out a little bit. At least I will. I mean, I don't want people riding on my, my vehicle. That's, number one, dangerous. Number two, don't touch my truck while wow, it's moving. The second thing that happened was the dude came over to my side of the no, window. No, the dude hit my window and tried to break it. And that's that's what caused me to go into aggressive okay. negotiations. The angry LFG was engaged for probably two minutes and then I went back to happy LFG. So yeah. it's all good. Next question. Yeah, okay. All right, let me fish. What is your pet peeves about each other? Good question. You're trying to start something. Mm. That's okay. You ain't gonna do it. Can I answer first? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> The dishes in the sink. Oh, and when I come home, there's dishes laying around the house. Sometimes I don't do the dishes, folks. Sometimes, most times. Probably. I most had to bribe times. you last night to do the dishes. Yeah, I leave a dirty dish out every once in a while. So, my thing is, and 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 guys, if you've never lived with a chick, the <laughs> hair thing is 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 a deal, uh, especially her. She does this weird thing. Like her hair like comes out 
and it's uh, like it gets all over the floor. <laughs> like when hair starts getting in between my toes on the carpet, that's that's when I've had I have a problem with it. And then she also does this weird thing <laughs> where she takes her hair and she balls it up, and it stays in these little balls, <laughs> and it just stays there. I don't it's understand. In the shower. In, in the, the shower. In the shower. There's just like whoo, little balls. And I don't know. I just take them. I'm like, I'm putting these in the trash. This is weird. It's like a cat. It's like a cat. Like a, like a hairball from a cat. She is an amazing woman. She just leaves hairballs around. Will we ever fish again? Just quickly answer that one. I guess. But... When the weather is right. What did Ocean Spoon Girl think about you dipping with Outlaw? Uh, I'm sorry to all you dipping fans. Uh, Girls don't think it's attractive. I have yet to meet a girl that thinks it's attractive. Okay, yeah. granted there might be some, but they're very redneck or country. Uh, Not that there's anything wrong with that. Come on now. I'm a little bit redneck country. No, I'm talking about the girls that are redneck okay. country. I have nothing wrong with you. All right. <laughs> I'm very attracted to redneck country country Boom. boys. Boom. So let me just say, guys, I don't, I don't, I don't dip on the reg. I know a lot of you guys have asked that. I actually used to dip a lot when I played baseball when I was when I was young. Before we met. And yeah, before I met her. When in Rome, when you're around the world's most famous dipper, uh, yeah, you, th you throw one in in a salvatory situation after a good, after a good. Uh, it's kind of like a cigar after. You know, you catch a good fish, or you... This is not working right now. Uh, yeah, I, if she ever caught me with one in, I mean, mm -hmm. there's no... There's mm -hmm. no, not getting any, no no kisses, like, it's going to be... It's not good. Just, we like country boys, so don't give that up. We like country boys, but, you know, if you're doing a little dipski, just, uh, just make sure you don't do it around the girls. <laughs> That's fair enough. How big of an impact does your faith have on your marriage? You and your wife seem like a very Christ-oriented family. Thanks. Yeah, 100%. It's my compass. It's it's how I keep headed in the right direction. Uh, it's inspiration. It's our relationship. I think it was like the first week that we were together. I was the one that asked the question like, hey, are you a faithful man? Because that means a lot to me. Most countrymen have faith yeah. or are faith-oriented, and that's what we like. Yeah, there you go. So if you're if you're looking for a chick like Stephanie, get right, get right with God. Get out there in the country, get a little dirty, leave your dip cans at home, and uh, you might you might just land one like Stephanie. <laughs> and clean your plates. We're way over ten by now. Yeah. It's so good though. You guys have so many good questions. Some strange things with your hands sometimes. Like your. I'm sure you guys have probably already noticed. <laughs> like her hands are. She has like model hands they're long her, her fingers are longer than mine and they're skinny they're like skeletor kind of hands but she's always like moving them around when she's talking and, <laughs> and she she sleeps like this like a bird like she tucks them in <laughs> you gotta tuck them in and uh yeah they're just he doesn't use nail clippers he I don't literally need them. He, you just like tear your nails yeah, it's way more efficient. No. I don't I don't need to carry around a little piece of metal that weighs me down. I just boom 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 right there, finger to finger contact. And done. then and then when he does his toes. Yeah, no big deal. Huge deal. That's way more if I'm like up in the mountains, no nail clippers around, I can take care of myself. Yeah, I tear them. Doesn't it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. They're nails. But what if you tear them too close? Then you need to deal with it. Don't, don't no they pain, bleed? No pain, no gain, baby. Don't they bleed? They don't bleed. I'm good at it. That's one deal with her. Don't ever just break your feet out without a warning. <laughs> uh, I don't want to see them. Yeah. I definitely don't want to smell them. Like, literally, she'll start, <clears throat> like, gagging. If Justin and Winston were both hanging off a cliff and you only could save one, who would you save? Oh, I love Winston, but he doesn't really take care of me. And he's probably not going to live much longer anyways. i got way more life to live. So I, I would choose you. All right, well, that's good. I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> I'd try to save both, but... Yeah. What is her PB? I'm going to say around five pounds. Will Ocean Spoon Girl ever go hunting with you? She wants Absolutely. to. Absolutely. I want to, guys. I wanted to so bad this year, but it's been crazy with our schedules. Yeah, it's just... It's hard to get her on any videos right now because she's just gone during the week. You, on the weekends, we're just trying to like catch up, basically do like normal, 
life <laughs> life things you know do stuff around the house fix things pay bills during the week is when I do a lot of a lot of my my content and she she's not around we and tried we, to last year we were even out there on the field and yeah that was probably the worst experience ever <laughs> um, we won't we won't talk about that that's a that's a long-winded story but um, your next deer hunting experience will be way better okay good trust me there will be no pit bulls in this one there's just massive amounts of questions about kids. There is. We're, we're going to have kids one day, guys. Yeah. I mean, it, if it happens, it happens right now, but it's it hasn't happened yet, so. I'm already having baby fever, so. Yeah, she's already got baby fever. I'm, I'm good to go. Like, I'm ready for a little LFG, you know? I want a little fishing partner. Boy or girl. Whether it be a boy or a girl. I, I don't care. What did somebody say about, like, spork, creek spork? Creek spork child. <laughs> Okay, so if we had a child, I guess it would be named Creek, Creek Spork, Spork Child. Child, okay. Whether boy or girl, I mean. We'll keep that in mind. It's low on the list, but we'll keep yeah, it in mind. Yeah. Of course, uh, we do. We do want to have kids, but right now it's kind of crazy because we're not actually living together full time. It would make it very tough, especially being a uh, YouTuber slash producer traveling around as much as I do. And then you're traveling at the same time. I don't know where uh, Little Spork Creek kid. Well, for would... nine months, I would be holding it. <laughs> yeah. Let's... Well, for nine months, I'd be living in you. And then <laughs> then I don't know. Because Winston kind of bounces around. Right? He's kind of like a little yeah. foster kid right now, to be honest with you. It says, what should what? I say to my wife and kids who say that I have too much fishing gear? I would say you have to conceal it in a way so she's not stepping on it 100% of the time. Justin does a very good job of this. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at rods sitting in a corner right now and a rod tube and like five rods. But it's in its place. Yeah, and it's, you created a basket so okay. it could go in there. We have created a system where most of his rods are either in his office or in the garage. They're not in the house laying around. She pretty much has the entire house and I just have the garage. Like that's... That's my man cave. That's my lure cave. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. That's my safe zone where I can Do have any kind of fishing gear out that I want. But when it comes, starts, you know, pouring inside of the house and getting on the kitchen table, that's, that's when there's issues. So. so as long as you establish some boundaries, I think that's great. But if it's one of those situations where, you know, she or he thinks you're a hoarder <laughs> of some sort, it's not hoarding. It's just, it's like tools. You're a mechanic. You're a bass mechanic. And you need lots of tools to catch those bass. You need different size wrenches in certain situations. Yeah. I mean, I'll say I have a lot of kitchen stuff, but that's because I need different tools to prepare different dishes. There you go. There's your answer. Just tell if your girlfriend or your wife be like, you know what? How many kitchen tools do you have? I mean, are you going to use a, uh, a fork to do everything in the kitchen? No, that's why I need like 47 rods because I got different things to do. <laughs> there you go. There's your answer. Perfect. Um. All righty, guys. I think that's going to wrap up the questions. We're going we're gonna to leave it right there. This really good ones. Really enjoyed answering these. Hope this uh, helped kind of uh, entertain and clarify some things. I do some weird <laughs> stuff sometimes that doesn't always get in the videos. You can probably see it on Snapchat. If you want to follow Stephanie... Follow her blog at healthychew.org and Instagram. What's your Instagram? At the Healthy Chew. At the Healthy Chew. You're probably going to see a lot of food stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or tell your wives, girlfriends. There you go. Wives and girlfriends, follow the Healthy Chew. Get some healthy recipes and good old wifey type things. Guys, if you want to check out the official Fishing Freak shirt, get them now. I mean, how, how sexy, how attracted are you? When I wear that shirt. I mean, I love it. I wish I had one for myself, but you haven't given me one. I'll get you one. Okay. Don't worry. It smells like honey grass. <laughs> I infused. I had this shirt infused with sweet honey grass smell, just like bass. So you can uh, smell like a bass and look like one. So you can smell like a bass all day long and get those ladies just all up <laughs> in your armpits. It's going to be great. <laughs> for the next big bass competition, you can get you one of these shirts. Take a picture in the LFG shirt with your big bass and we'll do a rod and reel combo giveaway in March. So go ahead and get them now, get to fishing, fish through February and in March we'll do we'll do a rod and reel combo giveaway uh, for the for the best picture wearing the LFG fishing freak shirt. Yeah, if you can get your lady in the picture too, that's twice as nice. Ooh. Woo! 
He's a big one. He's a big one. He's a lunker, man. I got more action scheduled for you uh, <laughs> on the next videos, so stay tuned for that. And subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> and say, say bye, Winston. <laughs> say bye, buddy. Bye. Aww. See you later, fishing freaks. We'll see you on the next video.